Good evening. Hello, Sabrina. Good evening. Welcome back. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Great. Great. Good to have you back. It's great Thank to you. have you back. Hello, Elvin. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Uh, very nice. And you? I'm happy too after watching TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was that was crazy. Only 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 relax a moment. <laughs> yeah. My day uh, was very crazy. Uh, now I I ha I have uh, I sang uh, the Excel. An Excel exam? Yeah, today. Are you, are you in a course? Yeah. Oh, good. Good for you. Yeah. Intermediate uh, or advanced Excel? Yeah, intermediate. And what? yesterday, uh, uh, the, uh, the exam in English, uh, English exam, uh, uh, Miss Elena uh, 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 interviewed with me. She she interview you? Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's good. <laughs> yeah. It's really yeah. good. For this uh, the last uh, weekend uh, I studied uh, English in, in Excel. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. Good good good. Okay guys, please turn on your cameras and make sure you have your full name so we can start. Let me do the attendance and then we rock it. Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> thank you. Present. Okay, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Excellent. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present, teacher. Okay, everybody, please turn on your camera. Open your camera because uh, this is the auditing part, es la parte que auditan, ok, so, Carlos Armando Duarte, Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín, Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez, present, Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos, present, Excelente. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales, present, Ed. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Okay. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Okay. Miguel Ángel Paz Landaverde. Present. Okay. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Juan Marcos is not with us yet. OK. Let's do it. Where were we? Who can answer that question? Come on, guys. Where were we? Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Conditional. Wouldn't it be nice if we were younger? Would. Wouldn't it be better? Right? Better. Song, the song says, wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> wouldn't it be better? OK. Um, it will be better. It will be better. Wouldn't it be better? It will be better. Wouldn't it be better? 
Um, you can also use it without a conditional, Alexander. You can say, wouldn't it be better to have? Wouldn't it be better to run? Wouldn't it be better to speak about? And so on. Can you make more examples without using a conditional? Wouldn't it be better? Then you use to and a base verb. Mm, yeah, um, I actually I didn't catch a last word because <laughs> I was reading another uh, excerpt. <laughs> Come on. Okay. <laughs> well, so then, yeah, let me write it. Wouldn't okay. it be better? Then you say two, and then you have a base verb. Okay, so let's everybody let's follow this structure. Let's go with the negative first. Wouldn't be better study every day. To study every day. Uh huh. Or what else can we do? Come on, people in intermediate one. What else can we do instead of the base verb? Can we use something else? Ing. Aha, uh -huh. a gerund. Yeah. Yes, you can say. Wouldn't it be better studying more? Mm -hmm. Okay, give me examples. Let me start from my left to my right. I'm going first with Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Okay. Um, would it it'd be better to swim? Yes. Okay, let's say you want to do exercise, right? You want to exercise yourself every day. And I tell you, okay, I, I prefer to run. You know, I prefer to run and you tell me, wouldn't it be better to swim? You have the stadium very close. They have a big pool. Wouldn't it be better to swim every day? Yeah, I got it. Thank you, context, uh-huh. Johnny already gave me an example. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Uh, wouldn't it be better to tell the truth? You already made uh... sure. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's excited. Let him be. Let him be. Come on, Johnny. Finish the sentence. Wouldn't it be better studying at night every day? <laughs> yes, you got it. Okay. Carolina. Carolina. Would it, would it be better to practice English if you want to learn? Perfect. Fatima y Fegenia López Ramos. Yeah. It would be better to sleep. Yeah. Okay, so you're using the the positive way. Okay, the positive sentence. Okay, it would be better to. Okay. Got it. Okay, it will be better to sleep. Okay, it will be better to sleep more time. Okay, Alan Abrego. Um, will it be better? Hi um, again. Uh, will it be better? I'm sorry. Will it, will it be better if you try again? Yeah, wouldn't it be better if you uh, try again? I, I, may I ask you uh, something that I have a doubt about? Uh, sure. Will it? Mm -hmm. In some of the cases, um, I remember that we use, uh, for example, if someone asks you something, you can answer that, wouldn't you? Or something like that. I don't, I don't remember the structure. So in, right. In this case, you will say, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. In, in which case is that I can use that kind of answer? Uh, it's not an answer. It's a rhetoric question. It's a rhetorical. Um, let's say oh. you tell me. Let's say. Let's talk about Tony Saka. 
let's say that I am a, a, one of the these representatives, these lawyers, and I go like, hey, wouldn't it be better to say the truth? Wouldn't it be better to say the truth? And he and he stays quiet. Then I can say, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Okay. Yo, uh, Retórica. Yo, y, perdón, perdón, Alan. Eso se llama también, uh, es la quinta forma de expresión. Se llama tag questions, okay? Tag, yeah. yeah, these are tag, tag questions. questions. Tag questions. Ojo, eh. ¿Qué es ese? Willing it. Es, y eso una, lleva una serie de reglas gramaticales que hay que seguir. Si la interrogante está en positivo, contestas en negativo. Con una task question. Y esa task question, no importa el tiempo gramatical que sea, siempre va a significar o no. It's, it's related to the passive and active voice too? Or just no. it's another kind of, of No, no, no. It's just topic. another yeah, way of speaking, yes. Yo le llamo... El, el, Sería la quinta forma gramatical, porque tenés positivo, afirmativo, perdón, afirmativo, negativo, pregunta cerrada, open question, WH, la quinta serían las tag questions. Even though that kind of answer is like, uh, no, it's just like, uh, um, so politeness, but um, like trying to be uh, aggressive at the same time, or Uh, no, eso lo ocupas cuando ya sabes la respuesta y está siendo retórico. Yeah. Ironic. Uh, ironic, a little bit, yeah. It's like rhetoric. Um, let me think. Um, I sarcastic. used to. Yeah, a little bit sarcastic. You took a shower. Wait, you took a shower, didn't you? Lo que, siempre yeah. yo, lo que yo le digo a mis tres hijos siempre que se bañan. You washed your teeth. Didn't you? That's the other <laughs> way that I, I, that for me, that's kind of difficult to use when I uh, try to uh, scramble that uh, answer when I say, did you? Or so I, um, uh, I don't know. I, it's, it's difficult to me to, Try to figure out how can I answer in that in that way. You got it. Do okay. you figure it out? Don't you? <laughs> no, ahí sería. Ese es el punto. Si haces una una firma, una oración en negativo, la pregunta Do sería you? en positivo. Positive way. Okay. Uh, you figured it out, didn't you? Did you figure it out? Uh, no, no, no. Wait. No puedo hacer preguntas. Ne positivo mm -hmm. o negativo. Didn't you figure it out? Do you? Do you? Do you? Right. Uh, and so on. And there are mm -hmm. ways to do that. Um, so uh, I want to share something with you right now. Just a minute. I'll share the link for a PDF. Hay una website, hay una página que me llega. Siempre lo ocupado, pues están todos los tiempos gramaticales. Ahí se la voy a compartir por copyright, no puedo ni mencionarlo, pero es muy útil. Um, van a encontrar PDFs con pequeñas historias. Por cada tiempo gramatical hay alrededor de tres, dos o tres historias, a veces cuatro, donde tú puedes leer la historia y abajo vienen ejercicios de esta manera. ¿Sí? Tú tienes que complementar y crear el positivo, negativo, la pregunta cerrada y la task question. Okay, so es un buen ejercicio. Ahí les envío un ejemplo de eso. Prácticamente la página es www.really-learn-english.com. Hasta ahí sería la página. Y ahí hay mucho contenido gramatical, eh, historias. So you can get things in context. All the grammar tenses. Ok. So I just, that's an opening. Okay. Hey, do you know how many grammar tenses are there? A lot, maybe. Mm, no, the basics, mm, the basics, basics, no conditionals, no conditionals. Uh -huh. Have you wondered? Se lo han preguntado. Have you wondered? 12. <laughs> Good, Alexander. <laughs> yeah. no. um, there's a discrepancy. There's a discussion among teachers. It's 12, but 13 with the future, with going to and will. <clears throat> you know, so 
is it 13 or 12, but yeah, that's the idea. And you can find them in that website. There's a chart with the 12 or 13 grammar uh, rules and stories for each grammar. So it's very useful. Okay, let's start. So today, what are we gonna do today? First, um, we read this chapter yesterday, this uh, role play. Now your first mission, your first task, can somebody trans translate task really quick? What is task? Or no, in English, I'm sorry, what is task? Do something like a something that you, yeah, like a that is a, how to do. <laughs> that is something that you have to to do. It's something that you have to do exactly. That's right. Um, like I said, is a mission. Okay, it's your duty. Duty. Uh huh. Okay. Synonyms. Synonyms. Very good. So your duty, your task right now. Um, help me, Alan. Can you read, please? Okay, read the contents in a server's training manual, organize the topics to create the index of the manual on the right, then present your index to the, cl to the class and explain the reason for your choice. Good, hey, excellent. Just one thing, contents. Read the contents. Read the contents. Very good, in the server's man training manual. Okay, what is a server's training manual what do you think can somebody describe to me what is a training manual for a server no, the procedure that the waiter have to do has to has to has to do yes, has perfect to. excellent yes just the procedures okay so we need to organize the topics to create the index do you understand the word index yeah Okay, what is an index? Can somebody explain in English what is an index? Like a glossary. A glossary, good, a synonym, okay. But wait, a glossary is the definition of terms at the end of a book <gasps> or at the beginning? Yes. At the end, at the end. At the end. Mm -hmm. no. The index right. at first. <laughs> uh -huh. The index in is on the first pages. Part. Yeah. So what is it? It's the like an introduction. List of topics. It's like list a list of topics. How we separate the document? How the document the is the divided? Different part, the, the different, different parts. The component, component. Excellent. The sections of a document. Yeah. Right. Excellent. You got it, guys. We're going to be doing this a lot in every class. I want you to give me descriptions of words. So that, that works very well. Okay, I don't know what is said in a table. I don't know what is the Kentin wine. Hmm, dress code, what is that? Okay, so about tips and taxes. What is tips, what are tips, what are taxes, preventions, of accidents and safety. Now keep in mind, this is a training manual for a server, so it's like, you're going to be trained as a waiter or waitress. Hmm. How can you explain what is setting a table to a new waiter? Hmm. Okay, so you're gonna work in groups, then I'll bring you back and you're going to explain me. I will select some of you randomly. Okay, what is randomly? In, in, you will English. The person. in English, what? You are going you to will choose someone. the person. Sorry. Jocelyn, Jocelyn, go ahead. You will choose the person who is going to present. Will I do it in la, just in because light. or will? Just because, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Can be Jocelyn, can be Alexander, can be everyone. <laughs> Randomly. In, Excellent. In the wheel. In the wheel. Uh, yeah, whoever is willing to do it. Of course, I cannot force someone, you know, <laughs> to speak. Yeah. Okay, but... In theory, I can. Hmm. Ah, I'm okay. Okay, let's do this in groups. Please make sure you speak. That's what we're here for, okay? Let's go. That's page 21.
Hello, Fatima. Sorry, porque está cayendo una gran tormenta acá. Hello, Miriam. It's hot in here. Okay. Yeah. It's going to rain later. Okay. Let's start describing each concept. Or, organize, organize the index. What, what will you train first? What will you teach first in this index? Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's mejorado mucho, much. Thank you. De verdad te felicito okay. porque sí se sí ha visto el improvement. So, uh, let me check. Mm -hmm. Just wait a minute until I'm going to share on a screenshot because I don't have the 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 notebook the, the book. Oh my god. Yeah. The teacher sent same before oh. on WhatsApp. Yeah. We, I yes, have this official. Okay. So, uh, okay. Okay. So let me check. We have sitting at table. The canteen. The canteen. The canteen. How do you pronounce it? Pronunciate that word. The canteen. Decaying, yeah. Decaying. Wine. Requesting a chair of change. Decanting. Sorry. Hold on. Decanting or decanting? Let me tell you in a second. Decanting. Decanting. Decan decanting. 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 Mm -hmm. Yep. All the schedule addressing. The ten personal getting to the new menu. There's code addressing customer about tip and taxes, prevention of accidents and safety. That's pouring, pouring the wine into the cup. Yes. Where is the first? I, okay. Actually, the index is it's like a, the step that you are going to follow. To follow step, for example, first, mm. for example, for sitting example. at a table. Uh, suppose that you are going to uh, tell to a new waiter how to sit in a table. First, maybe can be clean the table, put the how do you say mantel? Tablecloth. Uh, Tablecloth, yes. Tablecloth. Okay, I think I think that the first that the that the uh, if you are if you are sharing a training to new waiter is is I think that first you have to to inform about the, the dress code because it's important how you will look um, in front of the, the customers. In front of the... And then you have to, in front of, in front of the customer. First impression, right? Hmm. Good point. Keep Sorry? Going. First impression. Okay. Ah, first impression. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I think that you... All well, the things about that. So Look at it. No, so the it's... schedule for a job. Ah, okay. Second. Para nosotros. Ajá, este sería el Getting to know the name. Dress code. El dress code. Dress code para mí es dress segundo. Dress para... code. Ajá. Después de que te, te enseñe en tu horario y cómo te tenés que vestir, ya empezamos por lo básico. Mm. Después sin a shift change. Mm. Mm. Getting to know the menu. Don't you, think, don't, don't you think that requesting a shift change should go along with following the schedule? 
Mm. When you talk about schedules, you can talk about requesting a shift change. Don't you think? Mm. So, first, the, is, is it related? That's the point. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. See, yes. <laughs> That happened to me as well a lot. See, yes. Sí, tiene, well, tiene lógica. Come on, English, English. Stop speaking Spanish. <laughs> Come on, Fernando. You okay. know one, one thing, one more thing maybe. is when we case, say. Okay. Maybe, maybe. In that case, because uh, requesting a shift change is related with following the schedule, that can be the second. Yeah. Think about it. Come on, guys, keep going. Yeah. Or your, your, your duty. Your duties. Your duties. In a your in your journey. Yes, mm. your daily shift. In your shift. In your, your journey. Yeah, it is in a similar uh, next journal. Journal is a document, it's a book where you keep your activities of the day. Okay. Like a diary, but a professional diary. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Training, address, kitchen, the person, training. To guide, no. Addressing kitchen to personal. handle. Handle could be. What is addressing? Addressing. Addressing. Manage. Mm. Or handle. Addressing kitchen, kitchen personal. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so how do you do it? That's Driving. the point. You're, 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 the, the whole point is that you're being trained. You're being right. trained how to address to the kitchen personnel. So you have to train the waiter not to yell, for example, hey, three hamburgers, table five. Hmm. What else do you want? Mm. <laughs> okay. That's not all right, right? Hey, Jimmy, is that ready? Come on. Manners, maybe. Okay. Manner. Mm -hmm. Manner. How okay. to how to address? That's right. Okay. Manner. Mm, how manner. can we manner? Yeah, manners. Manners. Addressing customer. Addressing um, customer. Uh huh. And. Um, mm hmm. Um, uh, what about uh, dress code? No, addressing customer. Um, addressing customer. Vistiendo a los clientes? Uh, or addressing? Addressing. Addressing. I confused with dress code. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Teacher, hey, I'm getting confused. <laughs> no, Which is relax. the first thing? Think, you're doing good actually. Uh, um, let's see. I like the idea of getting, addressing getting customers. Wait, what is what goes Wait. first? What is more important, addressing setting customers or setting the table? Setting a table. Setting a table. Setting a table. Mm. What is the first thing that a waiter do? Um, Addressing customers. No. Mm -hmm. But is the is the table is uh, but <laughs> let's think about it. What is the first thing that you have to do as a waiter when you're doing your job? Clean the table. <laughs> Greeting Similar. customers. Okay, but even before you greet the customer, you show your face, right? 
to the customer. And and then mm. setting. Mm. Uh, no. <laughs> oh no. Mm. Um. Requesting. Oh, no. oh, no. What's meaning that the requesting a shift change? A shift change. Hey, boss, you know what? I cannot work this coming Sunday. I have to go to the hospital. Can I change my shift with Roberto? Uh, oh, yes. Okay. How do you do it? So remember, you're thinking of how to train your personal, your waiters. What's the first thing that they will do? Oh, they will. They will go to the customers, you know, like, hello, my name is Rafael. I will be your waiter tonight. So it will present physically to the customers. Mm, so dress code, maybe? The third? I don't know. Yeah, dress code, you, you, you told us. Customer will be the dress first. code before. The, I will say before, the dress code is like the first thing, you know, because you have to show your face to the presentation. customer presentation. presentation that's right dress code means how you dress how you look mm, I see. okay mm -hmm. and john by the way <laughs> it's nice yeah and then addressing the customers mm -hmm. right because you're not gonna go like hey what's up <laughs> no okay 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 and second, addressing. Right. Addressing, addressing customers. customers. Good evening. Hi. Good afternoon. Good morning. My name is. Mm. Okay. The second one. I will thank you. Oh, or maybe. Um, the second. Get into, get into uh, now the menu. Mm. No. No. At. Hello, Sandra. Uh, yeah. Yes, you're right, Sandra. Yeah. What? Addressing customer. Addressing the second one. Second. Addressing customers. Then. Setting a table. Two. Dress up. No, one. Dress up. Two. Uh -huh. Prevention of the accidents. Um, is. Pet. No sé cómo se cómo se pronuncia. Safety. Safety. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three. Saving a table. I put following Five. the title. Uh -huh, yes. Addressing kitchen personal. Five. Breaking to know the menu. Six. The cutting white. Addressing customer. Nine, following the tools. Eight, following the tools. Nine, requesting a chin chase. Uh, ten, about this um, target. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what goes first, guys? What have you chosen to be first?
passcode. Again? Dress code. Dress code, okay. And second? Second, um, prevention of accident and safety. Okay. Then what? Um, following the schedule. Okay. Uh, then requesting a shift change. Mm -hmm. After um, addressing kitchen personal. The kitchen personal. Do you understand that? What is it to address the kitchen personal? Come on. It's like, uh -huh. uh, how to talk to the personal. Perfect, yes. People skills, right? Yeah. Don't scream at the at the chef, right? Hey, hey, get ready. Okay. The order. <laughs> okay, keep going. We're almost going. We're almost done. Or yeah. the step taken. Okay. Yeah. Please book. try to please try to read it, please. Okay. Um read. Yeah. Read the index, please. Okay. One dress code. Uh, two addressing customers. Mm -hmm. uh, getting you know the menu. 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 Mm -hmm. Addressing kitchen personal. Setting a table. The Crescent, uh, I'm sorry. Could be sitting at table. Setting. Setting. Sitting and setting a table. Setting a table. The catering wing. A baptist and taxes. Prevention of accident and safety. Mm -hmm. Following the schedule. Is requesting a chief chain. Okay. <laughs> okay. Until now. Two minutes. Um, until now, I realize that is. <laughs> now try to describe each one one thing. Yes, that is uh, we we are doing right now. Excellent. Um, you have any questions? The, the, the canteen wine is only about uh, tasted wine or ah, pouring, serve, serve, serving, pouring. You don't say serve when it's wine. Say pouring, pouring, pouring the pouring wine or pour pouring the wine, pouring wine, pouring wine. How, how do you spell pouring? Pour. Pour. Pour some sugar on me. Sorry. <laughs> Death Leopard. Pour some sugar on me. 1980. Ah, pouring. Pour. Yeah. Pour. When it pouring. when it's about liquids, when it's liquids, yes, it's Bertier. Bertier. It's how to serve. No. Uh -huh. Pour. Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. uh, you know, um, the, oh. when, the, when the gente toma, he escuchado que dicen, sacale el diablo. <laughs> Set up the devil. <laughs> ah, le quitas el corcho a la botella. Okay. A veces le botan un poquito al vino. So that's the canting. Yeah, sí, that is the it's a procedure. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. The canting, that's right. Okay. Está confundiendo, yo estaba poniendo pouring como que si fuera pobre y ANG, pero es pouring. <laughs> pouring. Es pour, es pouring. Ajá, uh -huh, pour. es pouring. Actually, the pronunciation pouring. is pouring, pouring. 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 Yeah, it's just that we tend to say poor. I'm poor. Mm -mm. I'm poor. Poor. Yeah? I'm poor. I'm poor. <laughs> 
<laughs> reality, Ooh. reality. Yeah, I'm poor. Okay. <laughs> okay, keep going. We're almost done. Here. Here, security. Here, coma, coma, <laughs> security and environment. Or something like, uh, something like that. Oh, uh, yeah, beside index. Um, okay. What? What do you think, teacher, about or index? Yeah, I'm just describing, but what what goes first? What goes first? In, in the same order, setting a table, organize is not. In, yeah, we will see. We will see that. Okay, let's go back so we can define together what goes first. That's the purpose of an index to find out what goes first, what goes second, and third, and so on. Okay. Okay, so let's do something for very dynamic, okay? I need you to go to your chat, go to your chat in Zoom. Okay. Okay, so just type number one, number two, number three, number four, okay? So what goes, okay, what's the position of setting a table for you? Go on the, on the chat and put one, two, three, four. In your index, what is the position of setting a table? William says seven, Alexander says seven. Eight says Carla Yannette. Send it to everybody, everyone. Okay, number five says Isela. Okay. Wow. Okay, five, Isela, seven. Alexander changed his mind. Oh no, yeah. Alexander says one now. Uh Johnny says three. Jocelyn Rivas says five. Maybe I should change the okay, seven, seven. Seven, everybody's saying seven, okay. So setting a table is on the seventh position. Okay, that's on the seventh position, okay. What's the position for dress code? Let's go with dress code. What's the position for dress code? One, one, three, seven, one, one, three. Okay, one, 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 okay, good. <laughs> Good. Okay. So it's number one. Good. Okay. Dress code. What is the position for addressing customers? Two, two, eight, two, eight, four, three, eight. Oh my God. Two, two. Okay. I'll say two, two. I'll say two, two. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> What is the position for getting to know the menu? Three, 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 okay. Four, four, seven, four, three, oh, four, three, four. Oh my God, three, okay. Well, I have more threes than fours. I will go for three, okay. One, two, three. Okay. What is the position for addressing the kitchen personnel? 
four, 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 four. Okay, I'll say four. What is the position for following the schedule? Nine, 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 eight, seven, eight, three, nine. Okay, I'll go for nine. Did I say following the schedule? Yeah, right, okay. Okay, what about requesting a shift change? 10, nine, Ten, ten, seven, two. Oh my God, ten. I have four tens already. No, three tens. Okay, one more ten. Okay, I'll go with ten. What is the position for decanting decanting wine? Six, 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 nine, six, nine, ten, six. Okay, I will go for six. I'm following your orders. What is the position for about tips and taxes? Tips and taxes, Miguel says seven, 10, Carla. I already have a seven and a 10 there. Uh oh. Okay, seven, seven. Everybody's saying seven. There's a seven already. What do we do? Nine, nine is there as well. Okay, let's do something. So good. You kind of have an idea, but let's do something else. Help me. Now let's speak. We're going to divide in A and B these sections. A is a perspective of what goes with what goes with um, this computer. Sorry. Okay. What goes with the restaurant? How do, Okay, what goes with the business and what goes with um, the customers? In other words, out of these functions, what goes with the business, what goes with the customer? So A will be the business, B will be the customer, okay? So let's start with setting a table. Is that related to the business or the customer? To the customer. customer. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, right. Why? And now let's start talking about the meaning of each thing. Why setting a table is related to the customer? It's about the restaurant because it's depressing the performance of the restaurant. The performance, the... Um, right? you, were, you were going to say presentation, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, like yes. Presentation. It is, good job. Okay, so setting the table has to do with presentation, the first the first impression, first impression. Okay, decanting wine, is that customer related or the business related? Is it... Customer related. Now tell me why. Tell me why. Mm -hmm. It is the way that, that you are offering additional service to the customer. Okay, manners, uh, etiquette, etiquette, yeah. Yeah. Totally, okay, someone else, great job. Isela and Alexander, huh? Claudia, William, Ada, come on guys, everybody. What's requesting a shift change? Does it, does it go with the business or does it go with the customer? Business. business. That's business, right? Yes, that's business related. Very good. Goes with the business. Following the schedule. The same business. Business, business. business related. We're, it, it sounds like policies, right? Policies of the company. Okay. Addressing the kitchen personal. Addressing kitchen personal. Business. 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 You sure? Sure. Yeah. I think that should be a customer because you are trying to understand how they are working in order to improve your service or the communication with the customer and the, and the chef. I think. Okay. Wait, I'm Actually. jumping. I'm jumping steps. Um J Jocelyn, you said requesting a shift change does has to do with with the business. Why, Jocelyn? 
Sorry, okay. Well, teacher, requesting a request on requesting a search camp, right? Come again, I'm sorry. What was your question? Sorry, I was talking about I know. It was... Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay, don't worry. Um, what is why requesting a shift change goes with the business and not with the customer? Because there is something more personal. In... Okay. It has... is with the business, no customer. Correct. Okay. Um, someone said following the schedule has to do with the business. Why? Carla, Janet. Um, because uh, the restaurant gives a, get a schedule, uh, for example, when you start the job, when finish, uh, overtime, day off. They said the schedule based on the demand. Yes. You got it. Very good. Now, addressing the kitchen personal, I will cover that. I will say it goes with both. Number one, because it has to do with the customer always paying attention to how you communicate between waiters, the captain of waiters, the chef, you know, everybody, even the cashier. Okay. In the register, they notice the customer can see how the personal communicates. So if they see something like, hey, is the ticket ready for this guy? <gasps> oh my God, manners, okay. So again, we're talking about appearance, first impression, how do you look, okay? And it has to do with the business for the same reason, respect among coworkers, etiquette among coworkers. Okay, getting to know the menu. Someone else, Fernando, come on. Uh, Alan, mm -hmm. you're so quiet, Alan. Carolina, Miguel, mm. Carla, everybody. Uh -huh. Getting to know the menu is A. It has to do with the customers. Why? Why? When a customer goes to, to the restaurant, it feels that he does is uh, ask for the menu and when he has a dog, uh, the, the customer uh, asks uh, to the waiter, the waiter ha has to know all about the menu, the, the, the main courses, the desserts, the, the drinks, what are the ingredients of the courses, what what are the, the specialties of the restaurant? All about that. Good. The first thing they do, the first thing they do is ask for the menu. Yes, I agree with that. You know, hesitation. Uh, uh, I don't know if I'm wrong, but uh, getting to know the menu is related to the personal, right? Because the customers go and ask you something. Both. They want to know. So it's directly related to customer service. That's good customer service. If the waiter knows the menu, we are all set. We're all set. Because if you go to a restaurant, let's face it, you don't know the menu. Especially if it is a, an uncommon dish. For example, if you want to eat Hindu food, do you know about Hindu food? I don't know. So I will ask the waiter, hey, what about this dish? what is in this dish okay i will ask so the, the yeah that's very important okay let's keep going uh dress code company it goes with the company the business or the customer customers customer okay yeah dress code why presentation presentation first impression yeah totally okay. totally now, addressing customers. Sabrina, Fatima, Carlivania, Miguel Angel, Carolina, Rina. Rene, with the business? Why the business? It's a manners for the customer service. Manners with the customer service. Okay. I will say both. 
Again, why? Because yes, yeah, the business is the first impression you give to the customer. Number two, it's purely customer service. Can you imagine or have you had the experience of having a waiter who smells or looks or looks bad, you know, looks like a team flash, for example, a waiter? A stink. <laughs> His things, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting, right? Okay. About tips and taxes. Business or customer? Business. I think that could be both because the the tips the tips are based on the on the service that you provide to the customer. And also um could be for for also for business because some companies they take your your tip so it's not only yours okay yeah. all the right uh, the principles someone's talking uh-huh you share some restaurant when you pay the bill include the tip oh so it's important for you to know how much is the tip? Is it a 10% or a 20% in the United States? Is it 20%? <gasps> Here is the 10%. Mm -hmm. In the States, it's a 20% gratuity fee. The gratuity how fee. That <laughs> how that would that? They call it gratuity, <laughs> fee, gratuity fee. It's another name as well. Well, well, it's a law. It's a law, you know, that you need to pay the gratuity fee. Okay. And lastly, prevention of accidents and safety. Is that business related? Does that go with the business or does that go with the customer? Business. Business related. Business. It's just mainly business. Um, mm, mm. What happens if you throw the soup, the hot soup, to the customer? Hmm. What happens if you throw hot soup on the you customer? Get a, you get a soup. You are. You can. Yes. You can be sued by the customer. You are. Yeah. Now, now we have sectioned this into business and customer. Now. What is more important? What is more important? The customer needs or Okay, the customer needs or the company needs. Oh. Uh -huh. Both? Do you need to select one? Both are together. Both are Both. together. Yeah. Mm. But in general terms, what, what is more important? In customer. general terms, customer. The customer. Because it's your income. <laughs> because they're your income. Okay, they feed you, okay? Customers. So let's let's start from that premise, okay? Let's start from that premise. Let's pretend that yes, the customer is more important than the business. Without customers, there are there's no business. Without employees, there's no business as well. But that's let's say that the customer is more important. And yes, it is. From the perspective of an of a company owner, yes, it's more important. So from starting from that part. What is the first thing then? What is the first thing? Look at letter A's. Customers. Letter A. Setting a table. Setting a table? In order. Why? Because the first impression of the customer will be the table? Yeah, because you customer. You know what? Yes. I will say yes, because it's the first thing you do, right? You see it on your table. What's on the table? Oh, everything is in order. Okay. So that's number one, setting the table. Okay. What would be number two? Addressing customer. Yes. 
Dress code. Someone said dress code. Yes. <laughs> Don't be shy. Yes, it's dress code. I will say dress code. Why, teacher? Oh, well, because that is um, the second thing. That's the second thing that happens. You show your face to the customer. You approach the customer. Okay. And then what do you do after you approach the customer? The resting. Okay, you, you address the customer, right? Good evening, my name is Rafael. I will be your waiter tonight. What is the third thing that you do? Addressing customers. The fourth thing that you do. Oh, we said addressing customers, I'm sorry. What is the fourth thing that you do? Um, for, um, sorry, I think that would be getting to know. The menu? Yes, getting to know the menu. It's the fourth thing that you do in the process of serving a table. Yes, getting to know the menu. And then? So you got the order. Addressing, addressing kitchen person. personnel. Personal. Addressing or kitchen personnel. Be... Uh -huh. Depending of the, of the customer, it could be the canning. Yes. yes. Not yes. not depending on the customer, but depending on the restaurant. Some restaurants give you a free cup sometimes. Okay. So the canteen wine will be five. And I will say addressing kitchen personal will be five as well. But let's train, let's train the employees on both things at the same time. Okay. Point, point one. Five point one. Okay. <laughs> Okay, because after that, you go to the kitchen and you address the, the, the guys, right? Hey, guys, uh, this customer is requesting this, this, and that. Okay, and then, okay, the, the guests, the guests already ordered, they already ate. The guests already ordered, they already ate. What do you do next? Oh, okay. About tips and taxes. The tips and taxes. Yeah, you go with the tips and taxes, okay. You know, your total is this much, is 20% on taxes, 10% on the tip, whatever. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue with the training. Moving on with the training, what is next regarding the company, the business? Uh, following the schedule? schedule? Following the schedule, okay. Okay, let me start a new thing here. So following the schedule, it will be number one again, following the schedule regarding the business. Okay, good. And then? Then what? Mm. The question should change. The question should change. The question change. Requesting a shift, shift, shift change. And lastly, prevention of texting. Yeah, preventing, prevention of accidents and safety. Okay, you got it. Now, this is the order in which you will train your waiters. First of all, guys, let's straightly, let's go with the business. Now, you can talk about the business first and then the customer, it's okay. But follow this set, you know, know. first. You got it? Got it. Uh, somehow, uh, de alguna manera no puedo, oh yeah, I can, okay. No, no puedo borrar el, oh, there it is. Okay, that was A. Couldn't erase this number, just, oh, okay. So let's go. Are we clear? Do you have questions on what we just did? Alguna pregunta en cuanto a lo que acabamos de hacer? No? No. No? Okay. Are you sure? Because we're going to use this right now. We're going to use these procedures. Okay. No, no le pongan atención a esto. Go ahead. Uh huh. Oh, we are going to use set. In a second, I'll tell you after doing the attendance. Give me one minute. Want to erase those, but I couldn't for some reason. Okay. 
Okay, just don't pay attention to that. Ah, it doesn't work. Okay, so let me take a screenshot. I'll send it to your WhatsApp so you can do it better. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to do the attendance. Give me just a minute. Okay, are you sure you don't have any questions? Was there a new word for you on this um, manual? Was there a new word or a difficult word to pronounce? Decanting? Decanting, yes. <laughs> Decanting. Decanting, yeah, that was new, right? Just that? That's it? Re requesting, requesting the change. Requesting a shift change. Request. Requesting a shift change. Requesting a shift change. Yep. Okay, let's skip it up. Let me do the attendance quickly so we can go to the next activity. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Present, teacher. Great. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Jose Antonio Cubillas mm -hmm. Hernández. Mm -hmm. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Rina Marisabela Álvarez de Chávez. Present. René Alonso, Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. Thank you. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. I think I saw Roberto somewhere. Yes, there he is, but he's working. San Sabrina Mabel Latin Castro. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Uh, present, teacher. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present, teacher. Jose Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. Jose Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Juan is not here today. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. So, our next point. Our next bullet point in the agenda is for you to work on exercise three. Hold on. What? Give me a minute. Mm -hmm. Set. Okay, you have to assign each participant a number of items from the manual. Each participant has to practice how to present and explain the meaning and the reason for your choice, which we have already done. So what we're going to do is going to be more dynamic. We're going to create a conversation in which you train your employee. So one of you is the trainer. Okay. The others the others are new waiters, new waiters, okay? Now, let's be creative. 
what if I tell you you are not a common waiter? For example, I tell you, hey, the dress code is in pink and you are all men. Well, there's a man between you, right? And I go, the dress code is always pink, all pink. The tie is pink, the vest, you know what is a vest? What is a vest? Vest. vest. Excellent, vest. Ah. Yeah, V-E-S-T, Victor Echo Sierra Tango, vest. Okay, a vest is a chaleco, right? So the vest is pink, the shirt is pink, the tie is pink, and your pants are pink. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, uh, then if I was being trained, I would go like, wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better if I wear white or black? black. <laughs> right? Give your Red. opinion to the trainer. Okay, so you can cover one of the topics, okay? And then do as a trainer, you know. Okay, guys, uh, so the next topic on the agenda is dress code. Let's talk about dress code. You know, here we believe a lot in, um, in people. We give um, importance to the way you dress. So you have to be formal. The dress code is a pink tie, a pink vest, a pink shirt. Okay, or sometimes we wear white shirts, but always pink, because the name of the restaurant is the Pink Panther. Okay, so we're all in pink. Okay, so create a conversation. One of you go like, no, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not wearing pink. Okay, <laughs> and so on. Okay, a conversation. Be creative, please and move on to another topic. Cover at least three topics of the trainer. Can you do it in groups? Okay, and then you will come to the front and do an exposition, do a, a role play, okay? Let me continue with the same groups as I noticed you were working very well with these groups, okay? Let's do it. Hello. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um. Uh, the call the best man is okay or pin right Ok, eso es lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. Uno de ustedes va a ser el entrenador. Va a ir como que, ok, chicos, vamos a hablar de dress code. Vamos a hablar de tres temas, ok. Eh, vamos a empezar por dress code, ok. Y luego interactúan los demás. Luego hablamos de um, addressing customers, ok. Cómo vamos a dirigirnos a los clientes de esta, de esta manera, la, 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 ok. Y alguien me interrumpirá y decir, ok, ¿le puedo gritar al cliente? Oh, no, que no entiendo. Ok. No sé lo que se les ocurra, ¿ok? Pero enseñando, uno de ustedes va a ser el entrenador, ¿ok? Y los demás van a interactuar con él. ¿Got it? Ok. Bien. Ok. You can do it. Um, well, why? What do you feel that? I don't know. My head hits at the sister. You sick? Yeah. Okay. So, ok. So, um, Jocelyn, or what is the other girl? Carly Vania. Yeah, Carla. I don't know if you want to be the, the trainer or you, Jocelyn. I don't know. Any. Okay, so you got the point, right? One is the trainer 
explaining um, three, yeah. three topics, but explain one topic and let the others go like, hey, um, can I say something? Yeah, I don't like that idea, you know, okay. Second topic okay. on the agenda of the training is the this, this, and that. Okay, you got it, right? Yeah, we got okay. it. Okay, thank you. Good, good. Question. You have to clean tables, wash the dishes, and, and check all the table, uh, all the shelves, uh, stay uh, up, up the table. What is it, it be better if we repeat that activities or tasks uh, on morning when all the employees arrive to work? In the morning. In the morning. Okay, first, you, you, have, you have to sign the assistance. The uh, attendance. The atten ah, okay, you have to sign the attendance. Uh, use no wear uniform. Uh, clean. Uh, you have to clean. wear uniform. Uh -huh. You have to wear uniform uh, and sanitizing. Sanitizing uh, your hands. Sanitizing when, your hands. When and when an employee arrives to to, to the restaurant, he ha he has to well, he has to check the. Uh, his the temperature. Yes, uh, we have a machine, and it takes temper, tem, temper, I <laughs> temperature. Wouldn't it be better if the how 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 do you say vigilante? Yeah. Uh, security guard. Ah, uh, security guard has. The security guard does that, that does every day. Does that every does that every day? Does that every day? Does that every day? Does that every day? Is uh, with a machine is more um, no, it's less contact and it's ah. more uh, secure. Uh -huh, safe? Yeah, safe. Safe? Oh, safe. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh huh. Wait. Safer. Safer. Safer is more secure. Uh huh. Why more secure for for yours? For you. For you. Okay. Uh, uh, another question. Mm. <laughs> question. 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 Another question. 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 No question. <laughs> no question for that training. For that. Go, go next. Go next. Topic. Next. Next. Next okay. topic. Next topic is. Uh, sí, está bien. Pero, pero armarlo. Ajá, cada, pero por eso hay que investigar el tema primero. Ok. Now I like investigate. For, for, for so the me, idea is good. Yeah. For me, it's setting a table. Ok. And ask, uh, uh, okay, which will be your, your role play? Oh, first, uh, steps, passos, steps, passos. Actually, it's sure. the, the topic uh -huh. is Help us. the teacher shared before. Help us. We need to uh, organize or ideas, but uh -huh. we, we need your um, advice. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Because nice. uh, don't get complicated. Just let's say, for example, uh, who's gonna be the trainer? That's the first point. Who's who's the trainer? Alan. Okay, you, you know you you know about this, right? So uh, a little bit, right? I know. 
Okay, so let's say you want to train on how to set the table. You can go like start talking. Okay, guys, so the first topic today, it's going to be um, setting the table. It's important for you to clean the table, okay, with a clean cloth. Don't use a dirty cloth because it's going to be stinky afterwards, right? Uh, then you have to put the salt, the pepper, and the, the, the napkins, napkins on the table right in the middle, okay? Sounds like an, a description. Uh, yeah, just they, describing they... the procedure. Describe the procedure. And someone will say, hey, um, what about the chairs? Uh, uh, wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better if we put the salt, the pepper, and the napkins at, at one side? And Pizza Hut does that. For example, Pizza Hut does that. Mm, no, no, no. That's the way we do it here in the restaurant. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Okay, you have any other question? No, no, everything Nobody. is okay. Oh, well, yes. Uh, wouldn't it be better if we leave the chairs uh, off the table or what do you say? Or is it better if we do it underneath the table, you know, the chair? Oh, you have to leave them beneath the table. Okay, okay, good. And so on. It's a conversation. Okay, second topic. Um, let's talk about your dress code uh, or let's talk about addressing the customer. Okay, you can even involve your your trainees, your trainees. Okay, Ada, tell me, how do you greet a customer? And Ada goes like, oh, okay. Okay, okay. that sounds good. It's just an idea. It's a conversation and a training, you know, and you are the trainer, they are the trainees. Okay. Good. You can do it. Break a leg. Okay. Um, okay. 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 Bien. Okay. The Entonces, nosotros Sandra... vamos a preguntarle a él cómo escribirnos y todo eso, ¿no? Uh... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. El proceso de la inscripción. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no. Uh, we no. have. <laughs> OK, let me show you guys really quick. OK, guys, this morning and um, today we're going to learn about setting a table. OK, uh, first, you have to use a clean cloth to clean the, the table. OK, don't use a dirty, a dirty cloth because afterwards the table will be stingy. Then make sure you leave the pepper then the napkins and then the salt in that order and the chili okay chili in the middle napkins in the middle pepper salt in that order and then carolina carolina will say wouldn't it be better if we put these items on one side of the table no that's the way we do it here you see yeah, something like that. Yes, it's like uh, you can give your opinion. It's a training, right? So you can give your opinion in the training. Hey, wouldn't it be better? It will be better, don't you think, if we do this, this, and that? Okay. Okay, perfect. Let's go with the second topic. Uh, the second topic is addressing the chef, addressing the personal, okay, of the kitchen. Uh, we only have one chef and one um assistant of the chef the sous chef so make sure you don't scream your order we don't do that in this restaurant okay don't go like hey i need a spaghetti on table eight no we don't do that you have to go to the kitchen leave your commanda okay the commanda is the little paper the waiters have okay leave your so, commanda go ahead so we will we cover all the steps about the training no 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 just three uh, just oh, three okay. the way i'm doing it right now okay so you lead the commander and then johnny could go like hey wouldn't it be better if we do it through our phones our cell phones we send the order to the chef why don't you buy a software you know have you noticed have you seen that no, hay un lugar en, en el seguro donde vas a comprar tortas en el chango del seguro Johnny's, un comercial que me estoy echando ahorita Johnny's, frente de las oficinas administrativas del seguro si van ahí, eh, buena onda el, el, y lo trata uno y siempre le dice hey, hola amiga, hola amigo, ¿qué tal amigo? ¿cómo está amigo? tienes como 30 años ahí so, 
ya se, ya se modernizó el hijo, llegó, tomó el lugar del papá. Primero que hizo fue poner un software. Ya ponen las órdenes de un solo. Ok, ¿qué va a pedir? Ta, 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 uh, le aparece el, el cocinero. Okay, salen dos tortas. Todos like, wow, man. Technology. Yeah. So, that's the idea. Wouldn't it be better if you get a software, you know? Yeah, we're on the process. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hey, you want to be a manager, right? Ha <laughs> ha, good job. It's a training, remember. Have you been to a trainer, a training? Have you been to a training? ¿Ya han estado en un entrenamiento? Never. Never? Caro? No, never. No, Sandra? <laughs> no. Sandra se congeló. She's frozen right mm. now. No, oh, no, there she is. Oh, yes, no. Sandra. <laughs> so that's the point. Es un entrenamiento. Un entrenamiento es eso. La comunicación del que está exponiendo. Y los demás escuchando y poniendo atención a qué es lo que van a hacer. Tomando notas. Dar su opinión. Preguntar. Si no sería mejor hacer tal cosa, ¿ok? Try it. I'll be here. I'll be here. Try okay. it. So, Sandra, gonna start about a, gonna start with the conversation about uh, about addressing customers, and then uh, I'm gonna reply about. Oh yeah, it is something that is. It's important to train about addressing customers, about greet the guests, a smile the guests, and maybe Johnny, you should you should reply about. Uh, It couldn't, it couldn't be better to, it couldn't be better to include one step in about training, maybe. Okay, I will say you have to pretend that you are training them. You don't know them, Carolina. You don't know them right now. Oh, so uh, just go with, okay, uh, I'm sorry, your name? Oh, Johnny, Johnny. Okay, uh, pay attention, please. Okay, so listen, you greet the customers. La, 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 la. Okay, you have to be very polite. Okay, be careful with your manners. You say your name, you greet them. Good evening, oh, good okay. afternoon. Okay, and Johnny will go like, okay. okay, wouldn't it be better if I just go and what do you want to order? Ask them, do, oh. why, why do I have to say my name? Wouldn't it be better if I just ask them what they want to order? And you will go, Carol, no, 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 no. Say your name, please. Okay, all the time, say your name. Me, good? Okay, okay. good. Next point, dress code. Let's talk about dress code, okay? Or dress code is da 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 da, 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 da. Any questions? And Sandra will say, oh, um, yeah, I'm okay with that. That sounds be beautiful. Are we paying for our dress code? Are we paying for our, for our uniforms? Oh, no, no, no. It's on the house. We, we will pay for it. Hmm. Okay. Good? I see. Okay. Let's do it then. Go ahead. Now you can start so, pretending, Caro. Pretend you are okay. the trainer. Become the trainer. <laughs> 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 okay, go ahead. <laughs> hello, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna start about training. The first step is addressing addressing co customers, and and it is a fun, it's important part to train to train. Oh. Okay, you ready? Yes. Yes, show me what you got. How will you start the training? Okay. Okay, we start with setting, setting a table. Uh -huh. We need to put the table close 
classes, plates. I don't know how to say utensilios, teacher. Utensils. Okay, utensils. Reina. How is the napkin placed? Should be placed folded on the plate. Mm. And any any question about the subject? Fatima or Miriam? It is the same person who takes the customer to the table who asking for the order. Uh, you, you just need to say, no, I don't have a question. But next is Sorry. <laughs> custom. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, uh, continue with addressing customers uh, first. Greet the customers that are coming and accompanying them to their table. Okay. I, okay. I have a question. Oh, we did those the water stand to service the customer? Are we going to serve water first? Or are we going to offer water first to the customer? What was the question? I'm sorry. Ah, perdón, no entendí la pregunta. Sorry, Miriam. What was that? We does the water stand to service the customer. Ah, waiter. Mm -hmm. Okay, should be located on the right side. Yes, that's true. You always go to the right side to serve. Very good, guys. Let's go back so we can start presenting our to our classmates, okay? Recording stop. The last one is going to be the volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it. we missed uh, a presentation from for one group of yesterday. Oh, yes, it's true. One of the groups was missing to present yesterday. It's true. Oh, you should, have, you should have told me. You should have told me at the beginning of the class. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, just in this, just in this group. Yeah. I didn't tell you because I, 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 I didn't want to be the Castros. <laughs> what the what? <laughs> no, you would have felt me. Okay, good. Don't worry. We, the if Snoopy there's go. the Snoopy. Good, good point. I, I didn't want to be Snoopy. That's right. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's go with the first group. I'm going to follow the order this time. Fatima, Miriam, Rina, and William. All yours. Okay. Uh, are we setting, table, setting a table? Uh, first, we need to pull the table uh, glasses, plates, and utensils. How oh, is the napkin placed? Should be placed folded on the plate. And any question about the subject, Mina or Fatima? Yes, no, no. Okay, continue about addressing customers. First, greet the customer, welcoming uh, and accompanying them to their table. Miriam? I have a question. Uh, which 
outside does the water stand to service the customer? Okay, should be located on the right side. Okay. Fatima? I have a question. It is the same person who takes the customer in the table. Who asking for the order? In this case, there is a person in charge of welcoming the customer and taking them to the to their table. Then another waiter is in charge of taking the order and serving the table. That's it, teacher. Good job, okay. So mispronunciating words, but everything else was okay. Okay, continue with the next topic. Let's continue with the next topic. You missed that, that part. Let's continue with the next topic. Uh, which side of the customer should we stand to serve the water? I think that was the question uh, from the classmate from Median. She was trying to say, which side of the customer should we stand to serve the water? Good, okay. And survey, survey, and service, service. Good job. Okay, that was awesome. Good job. Second team, Carla, Ivania, um, Isela, Jose Antonio, and Jocelyn. Okay. Okay, just give me a moment. Give me a moment. Okay. Um, okay, thank you. <laughs> Thank you for B2. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay. Thank you to be part of the new team or for our company. Um, before I start your shift, um, I need to inform some process that we, that we have in this company. And one of the, of the um, information that I want to share with you is about the um, dress code. You have to know that the uniform is going to be paid off. It's going to be paid for you guys. What do you think about it? Uh, wouldn't it be better that the company provide the uniform for free? Uh, yeah, it would be better, but actually, if you are a new hire, you need to pay for it your uniform, but let me see if we can get a discount for this time, okay? Okay, thank you, trainer. Okay, and the second point would be about the, the menu. All of you guys need to memorize the, the menu in order to better assist to the customer. Will it be better to have a QR code on the table so that the customer can check the menu beforehand? Yeah, I think that um, could work. So let me see with my supervisor if we can add that information on the table. And the last one is about your chef. You are not allowed to request changes of your schedule one day before or the same date because it's going to be denied. What do you think about it? Wouldn't it be better if this is we request a change with another waiter to avoid discounts? Yeah, if the other part is agreed with, with that kind of swap, we can apply it. So thank okay. you for being here and let's start to work. Bye thank girls. You. Let's do it. Bye, okay. thank you so much. Awesome, awesome. Some pronunciation, let's go with thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we learned 
somehow, de alguna manera aprendimos esta palabra desde pequeño, de hecho, ¿no? Thank you. Vamos a la tienda, le pedimos algo a la señora y le decimos al final, thank you. Mm, ok, repeat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank right. you. Better. Sounds thank better. You. you got it. To be part. Okay. Thank you. To be part. The preposition Isela is for. Thank you for being part. Yeah. For that reason, I, I stopped and then <laughs> I I didn't remember. So I just continue. Good job. I should Don't be worry. for. Uh -huh. It should be for. Thank you for being part of the new staff of the company. Yes. Good job. So I think that, that I used it at the end. Thank you for being here. Yeah, you did. Good job. To better assist to the customer, you remove the preposition too, okay? To better assist the customer. Repeat, to better assist the customer. To better, to better assist the customer. Good. Let me see what my supervisor, we can add. Let me see with my supervisor if, we can add that on the table. Let me see with my supervisor if we can add that on the table. That on that on the table. Good job. Pronunciation request. 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 Yeah. request. Uh, yeah. Don't say re request. Uh, request. 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 Doesn't it? Request. Uh -huh. If the other part is agree, if the other part agrees with that part, let me see if the other part agrees with that part. <laughs> agrees. Yeah, that sounded you re use redundant. Is, is agree? Uh -uh. Okay. If I translate, I would say, si está de acuerdo. Really? But no, but grammatically it will be an, an error. Let me see if the other person agrees. Agrees. If, yeah. Do you agree? We don't use the verb to be with the word agree. No. Right. Okay. That's the point. Okay. Uh, I didn't know that. Uh, no. Yeah. And it's, it's, it could be very easy to make the mistake. Are you agree? Mm, do you agree? It's like saying, are you okay? Are we okay? That's different. Do we agree? Hey, remember when you want to correct that, remember yes, the yogurt. Do we all agree? Do we all agree? Do agree, okay? Yes, okay. Yeah. Okay. You're so old, teacher. You're so old, teacher. His references. Okay. Room number three. Um Fernando, Carla, Roberto, and Sabrina. Uh, okay. Okay, guys, welcome to the restaurant. And we have a training about following a schedule. First, you start a job, no, you start a job at 6 a.m. Uh, to 6 p.m. And from Monday to Sunday, and you have a uh, one day off and can be uh, where, uh, any day on the week about question uh, well, wouldn't it be better if we we can we can change our schedule with another co-worker uh, during three months, you cannot do it because you have a you have a training. So before three months, uh, you can do it. Okay. Uh, another topic is um, getting notes from the menu. You must memorize uh, the meal. Memorize the ingredients if, and give suggestions or the customers. I think it, it would be better uh, to to change the, the, the paper menu for 
a digital menu. Yes, we have digital digital menu, but it's a politic that you memorize the ingredients and meal. Okay. <laughs> uh, so next topic is asking tables. Uh, before server, you clean uh, and sanitizing each table. Uh, don't touch the food, don't touch uh, the dish. Uh, each customer have to uh, um, take the deal and cook uh, each table. Uh, wouldn't it be better if when uh, we clean the, the tables, uh, remove all the things in the table, even that things uh, wasn't used? Um, uh, it's in use, no, wasn't used, no, wasn't used. Wasn't used. Ah, it's a good idea. It would, it would it be better. Okay. Uh, only that, thank you. Thank you for being assist the training. Welcome. It's all teacher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go part by part here. Let's break it down. Guys, can you hear a noise? Can you hear a noise from me? No. No? No. Yeah. no. Mm -hmm. No. No. Okay. Good. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. Okay. You start job. You start your job. It's different. You start your job, or you start to work at six a.m. to six p.m. And this is very common. Don't worry. Let's correct that. Let's correct that. So you start your job from. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Wouldn't it be better to say your shift goes from two? Mm, your schedule is from two, okay? Good, and from Monday to Sunday, you have a muletia buffer. I, uh, one day off. <laughs> A veces el problema con la monetía es que suena como que si está diciendo el artículo. You have a one, a one, o digo a, o, o digo one. Y ese es el, ahí, ahí sí hay un problema. Te puede malinterpretar. So, um, from Monday to Sunday, you have one day off, a day off. And can be, and it can be, and it can be any day on the week. And it can be any day on the way. Okay, pronunciation, Mr. Fernando. Chen, change. Fer, change. Change, change. change. Ah, there you go, uh-huh, change, change, change. change. Okay. change. <laughs> Good, you got it. Ingredients, Carla, ingredients. Ingui ingredients. There Ingrid you go. El estrés está en la segunda sílaba. Ingredients. Ingredients. Um, give suggestions. Okay, guys, everybody, is it for or to the customers? Give suggestions for the customers or give suggestions to the customers? To. Because it's to. In the work. direction of. In the direction of. In the direction de. Give suggestions to the customers. Okay. It's a politic. It's a policy. It's a policy. Uh, yeah. Okay, before server, you can clean the table. Before serving, you can clean the table. Each customer have or each customer has to. Has, has to. to. Third person, very good, has to. Uh, has to. Fair, again, this dish. 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 Yeah, dish. dish. Yeah, that's right. It will better. It will be better. Don't forget the verb. It, it will be better. It will be better. It will be better. Okay. And lastly, we said thank you for being assisted training. Thank you for assisting 
to this training. Thank you for being here. That's it. Okay. Check the video again. Just check your feedback or take notes of that. We go with group number four. Only two more groups. Okay. Ada, Susana, Alan, Claudia, and Elvin. Okay. Um, okay, guys. Uh, as you know, you are being in a training course for being a waiter. And um, today I'm going to test your skills in serving the table and settle the table. And um, some kind of uh, topic that we learn in all the course. And okay, let's see what's see the first one. Who's going to be the first victim? Ada, do you remember that we talk about how can we sit at the, sit at the table? And um, sit at the table and um put the ball, put the salt. Um, put the um, okay, no teacher, you cannot click. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you, do you remember <laughs> that the, the thing that we put the first in the table? Do you remember? It's not the napkin. <laughs> Yeah, we need to table close, right? Okay. Let's continue. Let me see, Elvin. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, uh, I, I am a trainer. Thank you for your coming as uh, your first day as weren't. I weren't. This is the setting a uh, a table training. Uh, First, you remove the table clothes, then clean, then clean, clean uh, the table, change the uh, table clothes, uh, put the, I don't know what is good pronunciation, cool, cool, I don't know, it's okay, the, then you correct, the for correct that good pronunciation. The curry on after eating, Dishing our leaf, dishing our leaf, uh, sorry, dishing our leaf, and then uh, the process is repeat. Only that this is this is uh, the very very easy. This training for the the employees is uh, is the first time is uh, the first time when we uh, uh, let me see. Uh, um let me see it's a part time waiters any question okay in this case summarizing what you are saying and the first step is clean the the table then you need to put the um table cloth on the table then you need to get salt napkin and papers, cheese, and uh, put them center of the table. And then you can put the plate um, on the left side or right side of the table and fork and knife as well. That's it. Alexander, yeah. I understand you great point for this reason we needed to work uh, we organize um, and continue with the uh, steps. Sorry, Elvin, can go ahead. Sorry. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. No, <laughs> sorry. You ahead. go ahead. Oh, uh, that for me, that's it. Uh, the, this is the uh, training when the, when uh, the people uh, is a first time this job. 
Okay. Um, okay, guys. Uh, it's so, I'm so proud that you are learning all those things that I tell you in these three months. And it will be better if we continue learning those kind of topics and, you know, develop uh, all your, uh, or your knowledge about this uh, restaurant uh, service uh, image and those things that we could use in daily journal. Thank you. Okay. That was awesome. Okay. At uh, the beginning, Nolan, you were saying like, uh, the no, as you know, repeat, as you know. As you know. As okay. you know. Uh, the, you remember the thing that we put the first table in. Okay, let's get this together. You remember, do you remember do the you thing, remember? the things <laughs> that we put first on the table? Do you remember the first things that we put on the table? Okay. Do you remember the first thing that we put on the, the first right. thing that we yeah. put on the table? You got it. There you go. Now pronunciation, you say cloth. 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 Be careful with this word because one, I mean cloth is trapo, okay? And okay. close, listen, close. Close. Teacher, close. teacher, close, like close. Yes. Okay. Close. Same no, pronunciation. Right? No, I'm not bromming. That's it. Alguien me dijo cuando uno dijo eso hace mucho. Are you bromming, teacher? And I'm like, what? Are you kidding? <laughs> There you go. Cloth. So be careful. Cloth, trapo, okay? Close. Close, Close. Okay. the plural. Okay. Okay. Close. There you go. Uh, ahora, eh, perdón, eh, por motivo de tiempo. Let me see here. Elvin, um, what was the word that you were looking for? Curly, curly. Can, cur cur can you type cur it? Curly, yeah. Curly. No, I mean, mm -hmm. Curly uh, in Spanish is uh, cubierto. Cubierto. Oh, oh, you found it as, uh, okay, because I usually say utensils. Oh, utensils. Oh, okay. Utensils, yes. That's what I have heard from these guys, from the waiters. Cuddly, but you were trying to say cutlery. Cuddly, cutlery, 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 cutlery. Cutlery. Yeah. Okay. Cutlery. cutlery. You can also say silverware. Cutlery. Let me write it there. Okay. Cutlery. Cutlery. Yeah, I, I always say utensils, you know. <laughs> okay. Okay. And also you have silverware. Um teacher, I'm gonna ask you one question. Um mm -hmm. and as an English uh English English mm -hmm. the words utensilio. Utensils? Yes. Sorry, can you repeat again, please? Utensils. Utensils. Mm -hmm. Utensils. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys. Uh, then the process is repeat. The process is repeated. Elvin was saying. Then the process is repeated. Put them center of the table. Put them on the center of the table. Guys, it's 10 o'clock. We have to go. Mañana vamos a comenzar en eh, los primeros 10 minutos de la clase. Repasando estos dos temas anteriores. El grupo de Jocelyn va a exponer, como lo hicimos ayer, y el grupo que falta el día de hoy, que voy a decir, son Carolina, Johnny, René y Sandra. Expondrán lo del tema de hoy, ¿ok? Para repasar lo que hemos visto. Es un gran día. Sorry. Ok, time's up. Let's do the attendance, guys. Um, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. One second. Uh, muy importante. Carla y Anet, Amaya Herrera, si me puede acompañar unos minutos después de la clase, se lo voy a agradecer. Ok. Um, Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. 
Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Good night. Good night. Fátima y Fegenia López Ramos. Present. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Good night. Good night. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Oscar, thank you. Good night. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Thank you. Si ¿Sí se puede quedar? Yes. Yeah? Okay, thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Present. Good night. And good night. Reina Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Ok. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present. Good night. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Jose Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. Jose Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Good night, guys. Okay. Carla Janet. Just a minute. Okay, Carla. Buenas noches. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo se encuentra? Bien. Esta primera sesión 1 a 1. A mí me gusta hacer esto en español. ¿Por qué? Porque ese espacio es para que usted se sienta libre de decirme, mire, teacher, yo no me gusta cómo da la clase. Yo no quiero estar aquí. Nah, mentira. No, no. <risa> mire, yo siempre abro estas sesiones cuando es la primera vez eh, con dos preguntas. Número uno, eh, ¿qué más hago yo aparte de recibir mi clase como para mejorar ¿no? eh, a diario? o en la semana, qué es lo que más me gusta hacer y me sirve, o siento que me sirve para aprender inglés. Y número dos, ya, bueno, sería la uno en realidad, eh, cuando, uh, ¿cuál es su experiencia en cuanto al, al inglés? ¿Cuál ha sido su experiencia? Y, y si se siente cómodo en la clase, eso es muy importante para mí. Uh -huh. Claro, está de más preguntarle si necesito un consejo, en qué siente usted que está su área de oportunidad en cuanto al inglés. Ok. Uh, bueno, sí, ya estudié, pero hace ¿qué? cinco años. Estuve en la Academia Europea un año. Hmm. Y ya de ahí me desconecté completamente hasta ahora que, que entré aquí hoy a inglés corporativo. Uh -huh. Sí me gusta el inglés. Eh, lo que pasa es que es, quizás no, no es excusa el tiempo, la falta de tiempo, porque siempre tiene que haber un espacio. Pero quizás me falta un poco más de dedicación para aprenderlo. Lo que hago a veces es escuchar música y, este, y escuchar las palabras y algunas que yo no entiendo, las busco, las trato de pronunciar. Eso lo hago más que todo. Es lo que más hago. ¿Le gusta la música? Es, me, sí. Escucho bastante en inglés. La de los ochentas es más bonita. Es más fácil entenderle. Sí. Siento yo. Ajá, y tiene más letra. Sí. Sí. Entonces eso más que todo. Es lo que hago para tratar de, de metérmelo más, ¿verdad? ¿Lo hace, lo hace, lo hace? No todos los días, pero sí, sí lo hago. Va. Trato de hacerlo. Ok, le ayudo un poco. Eh, yo aprendí con canciones en inglés desde pequeño, les decía, ¿verdad? Y lo que me ayudó fue la disciplina. Agarrar una canción uh -huh. a la semana. En mi caso yo quería aprender bien rápido. Después ya los... 15 que entendí que ya sabía bastante vocabulario para pronunciar mejor agarrar una canción a la semana nunca traduje las canciones uh, porque en algunas ocasiones lo hice por ejemplo con uh -huh. Fast, Fast Car de Tracy Chapman ¿Sí? uh -huh. me, encanta, me encanta esa canción pero el día que la traduje me rompió el corazón un poco así como que, mm, pensé que dice otra cosa entonces, no se decepciona a veces cuando uh -huh. hace las canciones y aprendí eso, entonces, ahora lógico, ahora yo ya sé que es lo que dicen y de hecho a veces trato de evitar a mi cerebro traducir con tal de no llevarme una decepción, entonces, ¿cómo hacía yo? 
agarraba una canción, bajaba la letra, empezaba el intro en los noventas, bajaba la letra o la, y la escribía, o la escribía yo en un cuaderno que tenía, y ahí iba buscando la pronunciación adecuada. Entonces ponía mucha atención, día uno, dos, yo solo leía con la boca cerrada. Día tres, cuatro, empezaba a pronunciar sin cantar pronunciar las palabras y tratar de identificar entre todas las que más me costaban y uh -huh. la subrayaba que okay, día 6, 7 empezaba yo a querer cantar un poco para entretenerme porque al final eso no me va a dar entonación ¿me va a dar pronunciación? sí pero no uh -huh. entonación una canción um, no sé, ¿qué se me ocurre? Chicago Hard to say I'm sorry Ok. Peter Cera, ahí en el video hasta saca la boca cuando dice algunas palabras y articula bien chivo. Y se me quedó grabado ese video porque yo lo ocupé, o sea, y después sacaron en YouTube el, 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 los subtítulos arriba en inglés Ajá, y abajo en español. Abajo. Okay. Bien sí, chivo, sí. entonces eso me gustó. Vamos más avanzado. Tengo una amiga que es doctor en inglés, ¿sabes? Y súper inteligente trabaja en la Don Bosco este, y me mandó un link me hice adicto a esa, por un rato me hice adicto a esto y es bien útil, pero eso sí mucho cuidado, es bien adictivo si le gusta la música uh, uh, Ajá. entonces okay. usted se mete y le puede instalar la aplicación en su celular o, o verlo desde la página web, pero es un juego usted elige una canción, va a salir el video, okay. siga los pasos y ahí puede elegir entre múltiple opción, cuatro palabras uh -huh. a la vez, o escribir, que es más complejo. Uh -huh. Si se está en la compu, es más chivo ir escribiendo, porque así uno practica la escritura también. Entonces, y, y va, ahí, va de nivel básico, intermedio, o hasta modo loco, creo que dice el tercer nivel, crazy, <risa> crazy mode. Pero es súper adictivo, de verdad. Uh -huh. Bien, la, vamos a buscar. la librería está bien grande, es bastante la librería bien extensa. So, esa es una. La otra opción que les estaba dando a Kelly, no sé si les dije, um, era una página que se llama Ron Chang. Yo le he ocupado mucho en mis clases personales porque me ayuda a desarrollar diferentes fases del aprendizaje. No solo la escritura, sino la pronunciación. Estas son conversaciones de más de 250 audios con la letra de los diálogos. Mm -hmm. Es lo mismo, agarro un diálogo indiscriminadamente, a mí no me importa lo que dice ahí, yo agarro un diálogo, lo imprimo, lo escribo, y una vez al día, unas, no sé, unas, bueno, varias veces al día, entre más, rap, entre más veces lo haga, más rápido, ¿no? Lo mismo, los primeros dos días yo solo voy a leer con la boca cerrada y escuchar. ¿Por qué ese ejercicio? Mi mente tiene que entender que hay otra manera de decir las cosas, hasta ahorita el problema es principal que mi cerebro ya conoce las letras en español, entonces en lugar de decir put, o no sé, dice no sé, center en lugar de decir center ¿ya? dice sí. table en lugar de decir table, table. O sea, al escucharlo ah, dos días de torturar a mi cerebro no sé, dice table, table, table ahora sí, ya empiezo a pronunciar a articular ¿Okay? entonces agarro eso, me aprendí el primer diálogo, a ver, ojo con eso Aprendí una canción o un diálogo, busco la autocorrección, ¿cómo la alcanzo? Me grabo diciendo, lo, cantando la canción o, o leyendo el, um, el diálogo yo solo. Y una vez yo siento la confianza y digo, es que chivo me quedo y sí, de seguro lo logré. Agarro el celular, agarro el audio en un otro dispositivo y le doy play a las dos cosas al unísono. Al unísono. ¡Puc! Uy, dije mal eso. Es que chivo pronuncia eso, ¿qué? Eso lo dije mal. No me gusta cómo suena eso, no entone mal. Ok. Voy a corregir esas tres cositas. Vamos a grabar otra vez. O otra vez. ¡Puc! Las dos cosas. Hoy sí, hoy sí, hoy sí. Perfecto. Siguiente audio. Si usted logra autocorregirse, ya está hecho. ¿Qué fue lo que yo hice? Fui autodidacta por eso. Porque siempre de chiquito me escuchaba. Mis primos me decían, estás loco, vos estás hablando vos solo, en español. Estaba pequeño y hablando solo, me decían, ¿qué tienes algún amigo imaginario? Vos me decía mi papá, no, hombre, <risa> ¿por qué? Porque andaba hablando solo todo el tiempo. ¿Qué tiene? Me gusta escuchar lo que piensa, me gusta escuchar mi voz. 
y hasta el día de hoy manejo algo de algún lado, ando yo haciendo ademanes. A veces la gente lo sepa, por eso me quedé en el con... yo. ¿Qué onda? ¿Qué le pasa a este? Y en inglés, que es lo peor. Es buenísimo, es buenísimo ponerse a pensar, hágalo usted. Piense que le está hablando una audiencia. ¿Qué diría? En español. ¿Qué palabras usaría? Y si se traba, mmm, necesito más vocabulario. Tal vez leer algún libro en español. Créalo o no. El léxico que tengo en el español es el que voy a tener en inglés. So. Very useful. Ok. Cualquier cosa estoy en el chat, escríbame. Si necesita mi apoyo, me quiere enviar un audio y me dice, teacher, mire cómo suena esto, le parece. Yo le mando el feedback y vamos mejorando. Ok. 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 Gracias. gracias Sleep gracias. tight. Que pase una feliz noche, Carla. Mucho gusto. Gracias. Igual, mucho gusto. Buenas noches. Buenas noches.